Welcome to Geneva for WISIS Forum 2019, where I am joined by Mr. Innocent Pagamba Mohisi, his Chief Executive Officer of the Rwanda Information Society Authority. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, you're here to present a workshop about your country's efforts uh, to become a digital society and economy. So where do you stand currently in this journey? Oh, well, uh, thank you, Shad, for having me. Um, to be able to explain where we stand currently, maybe somebody needs to give you a little bit of uh, history of where we're coming from. Uh, Rwanda embarked on the digital journey about uh, uh, almost 20 years ago, uh, the year 2000, when um, the uh, Rwanda Vision 2020 was enacted at that time. Then alongside the Vision 2020, uh, a decision was made to um, inculcate uh, information technology as an enabler. And uh, we had a 20-year plan which was broken down into four or five year plans. So the very first five years were to lay down the enabling environment, setting up the institutional framework, setting up the, uh, uh, all the legal requirements to be able to uh, start uh, uh, digitizing the whole process. Now, the second batch of five years was to lay down infrastructure, fiber optic cables, uh, start starting to build national data centers and, 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 and what have you. Now, the third batch of five years was not to start to build services on top of uh, the infrastructure that had been laid, but also to expand the infrastructure. So right now we're in the last batch of uh, five years, which we have transformed into what is called Smart Rwanda Master Plan, uh, where a number of uh, uh, services have been digitized, uh, like, for example, if you want to get your uh, birth certificate, you know, um, a marriage certificate and others. Um, tax uh, Taxes are being paid now online. Uh, procurement services for government are conducted online uh, and a number of other services that were enacting. So that's where we are today. Uh, tell us about connectivity in your country because obviously connectivity is a, is a big theme because we talk about we're talking here at WISIS Forum a lot about innovative technologies and so on but for that to happen first you need connectivity right so where do you, do you stand currently on that so um, uh, about uh, close to 10 years ago we started on this project to lay fiber optic cables around the whole country um, I'm happy to say that today we are sitting over more than 7,000 uh, kilometers of fiber that has been deployed uh, within the country where each and every border of the country has been covered, each and every district of the country has been covered. But over and above that, uh, we deployed uh, our 4G uh, LTE network, where Rwanda currently is the first African country to have uh, over 95% uh, geographical coverage uh, of 4G LTE across the whole country. So that's where we are today in terms of coverage. We literally have uh, almost the, the whole country covered in terms of connectivity, but that does not necessarily mean that access uh, uh, has been uh, completed 100%. So we are still you know, uh, hooking onto uh, different citizens, different institutions, different organizations onto uh, this uh, network that we have within the country. It's a work in progress. It's still work in progress, yes. But we are, w we are quite advanced. Now, I understand it's the first time you are attending WISIS Forum, so how are you finding it so far? I, it's quite interesting, um, very interesting, because it's somehow different from other uh, conferences that I've attended, uh, where you have uh, specific uh, country workshops, uh, uh, where you have specific uh, sessions that are going on. So this is uh, uh, quite different, and um, they're quite learning uh, a lot. Would you come back? Will you come back? Oh, definitely <laughs> I will. Yes, definitely I will come back. Yeah, because there are a number of things that you hear, uh, uh, for instance, learning what other countries are doing, uh, learning of uh, new innovative uh, technologies that are coming out, new standards that you have to uh, adapt uh, and, and implement in your respective jurisdictions. So there are a lot of things that uh, one stands to learn, and uh, I think we'll be coming back. Innocent Bangan Bambuhizi, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.